Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Janet Wright and this is an energy healing walkthrough video with a teeny bit of discussion up front about non-resistance. Okay, so what I'm gonna be teaching you is how to heal and clear your 50 foot non-resistance zone and that will help you to be much more non-resistant which helps with all things in life. I am not even kidding. <laughs> so maybe the biggest reason that non-resistance helps is because what you resist, you attract to yourself. So say if you resist rude people, that means if you resist rude people, you are literally drawing more rude people into your daily life. If you resist um, oppression, you resist that uh, you know people in power mistreat people who are not in power, uh, you will literally draw those experiences to yourself more and more and more. So you will actually be way more oppressed than you would otherwise be. Um, it's like you get a target on your back. <laughs> so um, that, and you're doing that because of your resistance. So that's why it's like the world is not really fair. Fairness has nothing to do with the way energy works. Um, it's all about like resistance, non-resistance, you know, experiences are for learning. It's, it's not like a reward system where if you're a good person, you, you, you know, great things happen to you. That, it's not actually the way things work. So, um, but the good news is, if you, if you learn how things really work versus how you wish they would work, then it's, it's a lot easier to have a fantastic life. You know, yes, you do have to put in the work though. So part of the work is learning non-resistance. It's really, really important because I don't want you to be a magnet for all the things that you hate and you resist. <laughs> like, I love him very much, but I do have a client who resists betrayal. And sure enough, he gets betrayed quite often. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's not fair, but that is how things work. <laughs> so the idea is you have to heal yourself and strengthen yourself enough, nurture yourself enough so that the resistance goes away, okay? But I always wanna help people as fast as possible, right? And so I think this 50 foot non-resistance zone technique is going to really help people to get much more non-resistant, faster, okay? So you can stop attracting to yourself all these situations you don't like, okay? So what is a 50-foot non-resistant zone? Well, first, you know, your aura is all around you, right? And, you know, my aura is as wide as, you know, the, the heel of my hand here. So if I stretched it out right there, that would be the edge of my aura. So, you know, if you have a nice big aura, hopefully you do, because you repair your aura with my repair aura videos, <laughs> then you have a nice big aura too, right? So that's, you know, that's how big your aura is, okay? Roughly, so on Akidal, let's say her aura is this big, probably, right? And so all the way around, even underneath the feet, right? So her aura goes this wide, all the way around, everywhere. So for Akidal, then her 50 foot non-resistance zone starts at the edge of her aura, and it goes 50 feet out. And if you know gold energy aura buffer zones, which is a different video, different technique, very good technique, but for a different purpose, um, that's more for just protecting your aura from punishment. Um, that's a 10 foot gold energy field that you create all around you and you recreate it really quickly whenever you need to, whenever it, got, it gets damaged, right? So that's a 10 foot zone all the way around the edge of your aura, your gold energy aura buffer zone. But non-resistance is so powerful that 10 foot won't do it. <laughs> 10 foot is not enough. Resistance, non-resistance, you need to make sure you're non-resistant 50 feet out beyond that. So what, what does that mean? It's different from the gold buffer zone. The gold buffer zone is like a, a field of gold light that you created. It's not your life force. It's just universal uh, gold energy. But it's a nice, thick, flowy feel like an ocean of gold light that's, that's surrounding your aura. And it's a buffer for you. So in case someone tries to punish you, they, it, it delays them. They have to get through the buffer first, which is not that easy because it's all this flowing gold energy, right? 
So, maybe it's easier to describe if I explain like a, a really resistant person and what their non-resistant zone looks like, okay? So a super resistant person, we'll call him, um, um, let's see, I'm picking a name. I, I have no clients of this name. Um, let's see. Jack Resistance, okay? So Mr. Jack Resistance, he has so much resistance that he has attracted all this negative energy to him. And so what does his non-resistance zone look like? Well, that 50 foot area around the outside of his aura is all solid black usually. Like it's just solid, like grayish, blackish, really hard energy. It's like a big black marble that he's stuck in. And so wherever he goes, all this junk that, and it's like basically pain from just people around him and just negativity from the world. And it's just, it's like he's just, it's like stuck to him and it follows him around and continues to draw even more negativity to him. That's what Mr. Jack resistance is not, uh, non-resistance zone looks like. It's really a resistance zone for him. And so he just, you know, he's like a magnet for it. And so he just, you know, all this awful resistance and that's just attracting, you know, the disrespect and the oppression and the betrayals and whatever. And so it's just all this heavy, dark energy that he's just stuck in, right? So we don't want that, right? We want to be like Mr. Jack non-resistance or Ms. Jackie non-resistance, right? So all we gotta do is wash out that 50 foot zone with lots of gold light and we don't need it to be like a big gold ocean that's overkill because it's going to spread your point of attention out too much we want you to focus within really so but we just want you to clear that marble of gook you know like clear the 50 foot zone out so that there's pretty much like nothing there i mean you have your buffer zone 10 for 10 feet but then it's just like it's just like flowy air and like a little bit of gold sparkle left and that's your 50 foot non-resistance zone and you'll know like go ahead and start washing it off like just imagine a little copy of you and your little aura and then the boundaries of your little aura and just imagine 50 feet from that and just notice like man look at all that stuff i've been attracting to me and we're just looking at the negative stuff the what is your resistance attracting to you and just notice it like, you know, heavy energy. A lot of times it, it is like in that mohawk zone. Like a lot of times I'll say, oh, people get more rips in their aura along the top and the back of their aura, sometimes right in the front here, as if you had like mohawk hair, you know, like a mohawk hair do, right? And a lot of times that is because your non-resistance zone is particularly blocked up in the very top, the very back, and the very front center it's super blocked there so it's easy for people to just hang out there and throw stuff at you and, and damage your aura right in those areas so just look at this 50 foot non-resistance zone and just start washing it out wash out you know um it could just look like rocks you know or or dirt you know lots of it i mean mine right now isn't so bad just because yeah, you know, I've been working this for like a month now, ever since the angel showed me this. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's still, it still can get a little built up. So just more gold light and just wash out so you don't have like that big, you know, cloud of guck around you. Just, you know, 50 feet out. Just wash out all that stuff that you may have accidentally drawn to you. You know, sadness from other people. Um, anxiety from other people, jealousy from other people, um, punishment energy from other people, you know, just gold light, wash it all out, you know, cause it, it, this is the stuff it, it's not in your aura, but it's still going to affect you, you know, if it's sort of all around you, you know, so just, just imagine that area, 50 feet all around the outside of your aura and just wash out, just clear away anything there so that you, you want your gold buffer zones right that are 10 feet all around you those are like nice oceans of gold light 
But then this, you know, the 40 feet beyond that is just, it's just like little bits of gold sparkle. And then it's just, it's just nice and empty and flowing so that you can attract positive things into your life, you know, but you just don't carry around this awful bunch of all that you're resisting. Just clear it out. That's why it's your non-resistance zone, right? If it's nice and clear with like a little bit of gold sparkle, it really helps you to be a non-resistance. Because it's like this energy of your resistance all around you and all that has attracted to it, it's like self-perpetuating. So when you clear it all out, you, you finally get this sense of, <laughs> it's my dog snoring. You finally get this sense of like, you know, some peace. And I want you to feel that peace. <laughs> so, um, so you pretty much did it. That's, that's your 50 foot non-resistance zone right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of, um, finishing up in a cool way. We're going to help your chakras a little bit more because now that you have your 50 foot non-resistance zone, it's going to be even easier to do a little bit more repair work on your chakras. Um, uh, but I promise it's easy. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna work directly on the chakras and I felt like a nice easy thing to do was to use gold wax technique on all the seven chakras. We do have a video that does this um, if you like uh, using it um, and you just want that one quick technique. It's uh, sticky gold wax and seven chakras are in the title. Sticky gold wax, seven chakras. And I use the number seven for seven chakras. Um, but anyway, we'll do it here real quickly. So you just imagine your physical seven and your astral seven chakras, bunch of cylinders, open cylinders, and um, just make gold wax uh, that is sticky. And it sticks to the openings, the round openings of the chakras. And just put gold wax here. And you make it out of universal healing energy, so it's good for your chakras. And um, just like if you wax you know, hair off your body, which I wouldn't recommend, it hurts. <laughs> But um, waxing your chakras does not hurt. You know, it's easy. And it's a fun, quick way to get energy blocks out of the openings of your chakras, right? So, um, and, and cords too, but in we're, with all these techniques we're doing for non-resistance, you may not have many cords. Um, but anyway, so you just, and your intention is, like say if you have a young child, your intention is to leave that first chakra cord to your young child, just at the first chakra. You know, if you have a child who's say 13 years or younger, you um, ideally would leave that cord at the first chakra. But if you have other cords to your kids, those are generally uh, not helping at all. <laughs> they may be, you know, overwhelming your kid and causing them to act out or overwhelming you and causing you to freak out. <laughs> so if you have kids, young kids, your intention is to only keep the cords, the first chakra cords with them, right? Um, and just that's in your thought and that'll work, okay? So, but if you don't have kids, get rid of all these cords. <laughs> all right, so just, you got the gold wax on there and now just you kind of break the wax gently, just the wax, and then lift off a big piece of the wax, give it to your angels. Lift off a big piece of the wax, give it to your angels. And as you lift off the wax, you're lifting out the energy blocks that are healthy and gentle for you to clear right now. Okay, so you can put more gold wax and then lift off the wax with the energy blocks, give it to your angels, lift off the wax with the energy blocks. Okay, so for me, I was just doing my physical seven chakras there. So now I'm gonna do my astral body seven chakras and I already put some wax on them. So I'm just gonna make a little break in just the wax, not my chakras. <laughs> and I'm just gonna peel off the wax, give it to the angels, right? And as you do that, as you take off the wax, you're taking off the energy blocks that are healthy and gentle for you to clear. Give them to your angels. Take off more wax, give it to your angels, right? And as you do that, you're releasing the energy blocks that are healthy and gentle for you to clear. <sighs> and um, what we're gonna do is we're going to, we wanna repair the chakras and we want to 
remove a little bit extra that may be around one or two of your chakras, um, making your chakras re repair resistant. In other words, like say you have a damaged opening to a chakra that's some damage that needs repair. But if you have something hard like covering that damaged area, it might not repair really fast. So we want to get rid of whatever hard pieces of energy are blocking your healing energy from making a difference, right? So we just want to get rid of any extra stuff that's kind of stuck on the damaged parts of your chakras so that they'll all repair fast. So just get rid of all the extra stuck stuff um, with gold light and give that to your angels. You know, just gather it in your hands, give it to your angels, just the extra stuff stuck stuck stuff and <laughs> give it to your angels say angels can you take this and just any extra stuck stuff that is making it harder for your chakras to repair just gather it with your hands and gold light and give it to your angels so it's like your hands generate gold light it's like they have gold gloves on them you know and then just gather up all that stuff give it to your angels okay so now you should be able to repair chakras in a, a really nice and thorough way that maybe they haven't been repairing fully before. But now with your 50 foot non resistance zone and the extra work you just did, they'll repair more fully. Okay, so just with gold light, just use your intention and gold light and just let any damaged areas in all these chakras repair, okay? And you can even, with your intention, include like little minor chakras that you're not even consciously aware of. Um, you know, like there's a little minor chakra here, here called chakra 4.5. There's a little minor chakra underneath the first chakra, which I call chakra K for Kundalini, your Kundalini chakra. Um, so you can just, with your intention, say, okay, all major and minor chakras. I'm just healing, I'm repairing all my major and minor chakras. You know, with gold light. I'm repairing all my major and all my minor chakras with gold light. Deep breath. Another deep breath. Just let the damaged parts get repaired. The gold light just washes out the damaged part and it builds it back. Gold light that you're generating from your hand chakras and your fingertip chakras with your intention. Well, with your intention, you set it to gold, but it gets generated anyway, because chakras are like motors, and so they generate energy, period, <laughs> no matter what. So just let all these chakras repair fully. All right, great. So now, whenever you imagine them separate, I like to then imagine them together, just in case, you know, you you got confused and you weren't fully present. So just go ahead, imagine all your chakras together, you're fully present, as present as you can be right now. And um, let's uh, redo your grounding. And then I think we're pretty much uh, done. We can just pat ourselves on the back. <laughs> we're done with this video. Um, okay, so, Go ahead, reimagine your grounding, make it, I'm gonna make it a different color, um, just so I feel like sometimes that's nice to kind of shift gears and clean up a little. So uh, red or orange or yellow, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna make mine yellow. Um, and just big, wide, as wide as your whole aura, and wide all the way down to the core of the earth, and you can make a copy out in front of you and just comb through your aura. I mean, sorry, your grounding. <laughs> And just wash out any chunks that might be stuck in your grounding in the center of it, the core part, maybe the, that is maybe the most likely spot. Also the back, the front, the sides, just check out the whole thing. Lots of deep breaths. All right. So now we're just really patting ourselves on the back now. This is the final part of this video. <laughs> so what you did in this video, and you can just kind of admire it, is, uh, you know, kind of, oh, my go to non resistance zone. <laughs> so again, it's, not, it's, on the, it's, it's really, it's not attached to your aura or anything like the gold buffer zone. It's just, it just happens to be the space that's 50 feet all around the edge of your aura. You know, it's just the space that already exists around 
the edge of your aura 50 feet all around and what you've done is you've just cleared all the junk that you were attracting to you accidentally subconsciously through your resistance so we're calling it because you know thought matters and positive thoughts help so we're calling it your non-resistance zone now right and what you did is you cleared out all that old junk and so now it's just there's some gold sparkle there and it's just it's just nice and clear there's an absence of junk right and it's just it just helps you to be non-resistant because it's nice and clean and clear and it's got your buffer zone in it that innermost you know 10 feet all around you all around the edge of your aura there's the buffer zone but the rest is just you know just good good nice fresh flowing space all around you with some gold sparkles <laughs> All right, good job. And uh, do you have to recheck this? Yeah, I would. I would recheck it. But, you know, uh, you can see for yourself and, you know, post your experiences if you want down below. Um, you know, do you check it every day? Do you check it every other day? Uh, you know, good time to check it. You know, some people, they get more in resistance, you know, Sunday because Monday's coming. And then on Monday, they're like, oh, it's Monday. I work. You know, so check, you know, check your non-resistance zone. What happens to it? You know, check, uh, let's say if you're a kid, check before you have a test, check your non-resistance zone, right? Or, you know, some of my adult clients take exams, so check your non-resistance zone. But anyway, so you can keep doing this. I mean, you could certainly do it as a daily thing because it's, um, it's quick. Like once you've really cleared out all the whatever, then it's just a quick check, um, you know, to make sure, okay? Um, and the, the repairing of the chakras, you don't have to do that every time. It's just that I think when you, maybe the first few times it's good because maybe you weren't able to fully repair your chakras because of all that resistance, you know, all that pressure on you just, you know, it was hindering your ability to more thoroughly repair your chakras. So over time, you won't have to keep doing that thorough chakra repair maybe. Um, or maybe if you do, it's just, it's so much easier. Okay. All right. So good job. I think you guys are really awesome. And, uh, I hope you enjoy your 50 foot non-resistance zone. <laughs> and I would really, uh, appreciate some feedback if you, if you feel it, you don't, you don't have to, obviously you're a free spirit. I would never want to, um, uh, be manipulative in any way. But if you, if you, if you do comment under the video, it does help YouTube to take the video more seriously and show it to more people. And I think that would be a nice world. You know, the more people that have these non-resistant zones, it, it could be a very powerful ripple effect for everybody in a good way. Oh, and I do have another video along this theme. It'll be stacking and clearing for non-resistance. That's the next one and final new one of this set. Stacking and clearing for non-resistance. And um, it's, it's very cool. It, it, because a lot of people, they have subconsciously, they have just a couple pieces of energy, like five to 10 pieces of energy that are like the core of why they resist things. And so it's real easy to get rid of those and helpful. Okay, so that's the next video, if you wish. Uh, stacking and clearing for non-resistance is in the title. Okay.